Hey folks. Been a while since you've seen my face, haven't you? Well I'm glad to see every one of you too. I have a few things I want to share. During this time out as I'm as I am actually up in the middle of uploading my videos. First off, about the Google situation. Now, some of you may have noticed, but there have been like a few channels in which are in which are somewhat disabling comments because of what's been going on with the new the new situation caused by Google Plus. I have not said my piece about it and about the main things I have to say about it. The good thing is it's not it's not permanent. All we just want is just our comments back. Now I remember oh, some time back we lost um, video replies. We haven't we haven't lost the power to comment or to post something new on our channels. It should we see fit to do so. So quite a few of us, quite a few of us have actually kept our channels open for comments mainly because you want to keep you want to keep yourself available at any given time and I feel most I feel some are leaving because of this situation because if you can't comment then what's the point well let me tell you something I read my co I read my comments sometimes whenever I do get whenever I do get one, and when I do, I'm often I'm often reading them from my inbox, thus giving me time to reply back to them before it becomes too late. Now, honestly. What am I doing in this situation? Absolutely nothing. I've already I've already been total situation saw that there was something we could do about it. It has gotten some it has gotten the attention it deserves and thus something is being done about it. What am I doing? I'm doing what I'm still, what others are still doing. Making videos. Free entertainment. Trying to make light of a dark situation. A seemingly dark situation. That's what I'm doing. And at the same time, I'm, I'm doing other stuff. Now I know some some people out there feel like feel like there's no use. Well, then the so-called popular channels aren't as popular as they think they are. You see, when that's well, that's where those who actually do show up, they shine brighter than those who are like the most popular ones. The less popular ones will shine out more than the ones that are popular. Only because we do what we have to do. We constantly spew out more videos. I mean, most of us 
I mean, most of us, those in the RCO and, and related to, and relate to us, or those we actually watch on a daily basis, they continue to make videos. Why? Because they don't allow this kind of shit to stop them. YouTube is basically the people's internet. We use it to basically fire off our videos, since since most of the videos I watch are namely game videos, I continue to watch to support. Now, I don't know about this, this flame war that's been going on. I've heard about it, but I can really care less for it, you know. Because the thing is, What's the point? You know, you just basically like, Oh, I'm going to do this because I haven't did it. I'm going to show up my ACSI and so I can be a dumbass. Yeah. That's fine for you, but... Yeah. I mean, at this point in time, I just want to continue to, I just want to continue to do what I'm doing. That's all I want to do. I want to continue to make videos. I want to, oh, excuse me, I'll I want to continue making videos. I want to continue doing what I do best. I want to continue doing what I enjoy the most when I'm online. Besides from being with my friends, being with those I care about. I want to enjoy my online time while I'm actually here. Whether I'm on YouTube but I'm working on a where I'm working on my novel or just listening to some music. Any of those things hold me from, I, I won't let any of what's going on hold me from what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm still Pugazi 7, damn it. I'm still Ichigo Musko, I'm still the Tenkaichi of game, I am still the underdog of the underrated. I am still all these people, and yet I am just this one person. And I'm just speaking out on the subject because I feel that from everything that's going on, if people, if if the popular people leave, well, that doesn't really mean it's the end of the world. If they leave, and now only shows one thing, you're not as great as you you think you, you were. Because if you were really that great, you'd stand, you you'd keep yourself open, and awaiting people's comments, because no self-respecting video maker would want to disable comments and therefore showing some sort of hatred to the, to the viewers as well as the subscribers. Or the sub or those who basically lurk and want to just, you know, do that. I mean, even if even if they say something crazy, acknowledge it. You have attention, so therefore, whatever kind of attention you get, that's what you deserve. That's how I feel. But otherwise... To those who are keeping your your channels open for your viewers, your subs, lurkers, whatever, I applaud you. Because it only shows, you know, we can deal with this. We've been through we've been through we've been through worse. The only thing we have to do is just ride the storm out. 
You don't know when it is. It may be. Who knows? Things will change for the better. Hopefully not for the worse. And pretty much that that's about it I can say about that because really it's like everything is going through its trials and tribulations. YouTube is one of those YouTube is one of those places we come to and it usually has some trials and tribulation considering their their network with Google. They have to is it really we could, I mean, we can do all the bitching and, and uh, yelling and whatnot, but if we don't do something about it, well, then all you're doing is you're just spewing piss and hot air. You're not doing anything about it, so all you're doing is like you're spewing hot air and piss. I mean, what's the point of that? I thought I just, I thought I just shared my take on it, so, yeah, moving on, this weekend, well, today, of course, is the 15th, don't know what that was, maybe that was my cat, but, um, as my first upload is finished, um, Today, of course, is Sheena's birthday. So, those who know her, give her some birthday greetings. I, for one, am going to do something in the meantime. And, yeah, it is probably something I've just been wanting to say for some time. Just never been around to say what it is because, mm, well, you can guess why. And yes, I am uploading these videos right now as we speak. I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing this while at the same time talking to you guys. But that's how I roll sometimes. Sometimes I do this without actually being on the, being on camera and doing it. Sometimes I just don't do it because I'm just doing something else. Okay, that's 18. And yeah, by the time this is as uh, by the time I'm by the time this is going up well while I'm making this video, the other two videos are being uploaded, so by that time after these two videos are up, then my video will come up. But as I said before, today is Sheena's birth today is Sheena's birthday, so give her some birthday greetings. And, of course, I'm going to be making a special birthday video for her. And they are going to have some things that I just really haven't said. So, yeah, it, it, it's going to be something. Let me just tell you, it's going to be something. So... Yes, I will have the limiters unlocked. The limiters will be unlocked. I won't. I will not be, you know, limiting myself. I will have the limiters unlocked. So therefore, in a video, I will just say everything that I need to say, and after that, it's done. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be done and over with. So therefore. I have my free reign to say whatever the hell I feel like saying, and of course most of you are probably going to say something about it, but let me first, let me first off say again, happy birthday Sheena. Treat this as a, as a fresh start, that's all I'm going to say, just on this video, treat this as a fresh start. 
28 is on gone now. You can only stay a certain year for so long, and then you have to move on. So now you're 29. Let's see what the future holds. Okay? Okay. So, um... Oh. One of the things that I, that I that is like when you're doing a script it it feels funny, but if you're doing it unscripted it's gonna be even even funnier and get weirder at the same time. That's what I'm feeling right now. So as I am doing this, <clears throat> um, while I have the time to do this, um, let me share what's going to happen this weekend. This weekend, hopefully, I will have one of my two. One of my two side projects that I am doing, done, I'm just going to say this right now, it will be done, it will be finished. What I'm currently working on right now is, of course, Sonic Adventure DX, which is what I'm uploading at this point in time. And, um, <clears throat> the second one I plan to finish this weekend would more than likely be Toe Jam and Earl. I'm praying it's Toe Jam and Earl. Between Toe Jam and Earl and Little Inferno, I have those two games. I, I'm cycling between this game that I'm, that I'm still recording, Toe Jam and Earl, and Little Inferno. Because Little Inferno, of course, is also a side project that I'm doing within my other main LPs. So, therefore, I hope you've been enjoying the various videos that I have been cycling through this entire time. Yes, that includes Super Robot Tyson as well. Because as I stayed in Backlog, D will probably be the last Super Robot Tyson game I will do <coughs> for a while. And then I'm going to take a break from the map series. I will do OG Saga, but that will be that will be some time later down the road. My alternate to Super Robot Tyson in March will be the Great Battle. The Great Battle a little, more, a little bit more kookier, wackier, and possibly a little bit more fun than Super Robot Tyson. It's not that it's, it's not that it's in the bad series, but I somehow get burnt out if I do strategy guys for quite some time. So therefore, I finish Super Royal Tyson, then I will finish Bahamut Lagoon, and after that, I am not touching anything else until whew, sometime later in 2014. So yeah, 2014, yeah. 2014 has a new possibilities, so look out for that. There are very few games that I can possibly say that I really want to do in 14. One of them, it, one of them is actually going to be a comeback LP, because like I mentioned before, I am going on a vacation. I am going on a vacation because I've done a lot. I've done a lot of games, so I'm. So I feel I should give myself a little vacation, a little break of sorts. So therefore, January, I, I'm going on vacation for just a while. Then in February, I will have a new LP posted, as well as a comeback home LP. Or, yeah, a, com a homecoming LP, and then a new main for February. In which I'll probably be working on it during, I'll say, December. Because December coming up, 
so I have a little craziness in mind for December. Yes, I will not tell you what it is, but it, it is a crazy December project I will be working on. And they will all be Christmas related. So stay tuned for that on my channel. All in all, I feel I've said what I had to say. And <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I don't have anything else to say other than thank you for the continued support. Do not forget to comment if you feel like it. Like my videos, and of course, subscribe, pass the word on, because I'm passing the word along on Facebook and Twitter, so you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, same, on the same call sign, PokeAZ7, and really, don't be limited to, you know, just, for comments, don't be limited to just YouTube alone, you got Twitter, you got Facebook, you got all these other social media outlets that can be used, so please do feel free to comment if need be on all three social links. So until the next time that I see you, I'm the Tank I Chief Gaming, it's your Musco, and I will see you soon for more videos. Until then, take care. God bless. And of course, as always, the Tenkaichi has spoken, and I am out. Tenkai! Muso!